Toy Poloi, a shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a toy restorer who does not exist. Toy Poloi, a young loner on a crusade to champion the cause of the broken, the helpless, the powerless, in a world of collectors who operate above the law. Welcome to Toy Poloi. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Ploy. Now today we're going to do a review of some modern custom figures that you can get on eBay. Now I got in touch with the guy selling these and he's very kindly sent over a full set of them so it gives me a chance to do a proper review and we can check out the quality of all the moulding and how they're made and see all the details and stuff that goes into them. As you can see he's making a reproduction of Luke in his Stormtrooper disguise and also a custom version of Han Solo in his Stormtrooper disguise and a carded version of that as well which is what you can see here on the right hand side and I have to say the quality of them is really very good so let's take a look at Luke first and we'll compare him to an original Luke Skywalker as well and then we can move on to the Han Solo figure so let's start off with Luke Skywalker so this is the Luke Skywalker figure that you can get. Uh, he comes with a removable helmet and the blaster rifle. And as you can see, the sculpt on this is very nice. This is a direct casting of the original figure and it's cast in the same sort of plastic that was used at the time. And I have to say the quality of the mold they've managed to get is incredibly good. It really is very detailed and still holds all the details uh, that the original figure had. And obviously it has the same articulation that you would expect. So you can rotate his arms and his legs. Now the head on the original figures doesn't rotate so it doesn't look like that does either you can see it's a very nice sculpting and for those that worry about these being sort of being able to sold as a sort of a counterfeit of the originals uh, the markings on the back of the leg have been removed so you can see here that there are no date stamps at all on the, the left leg if I bring in my original uh, Luke in Stormtrooper you can see that he has uh, the Lucasfilm markings on the left leg there so with those markings missing you can clearly tell that that is not an original figure and also I have to say I've never seen a uh, Luke Stormtrooper as white as this if you see my Stormtrooper here he's gone yellow in fact I have three of these figures and every single one of them has gone yellow and I don't think I've seen one that is this pristine white that's also another clear way of telling that this is a modern reproduction but I do think it is a lovely figure figure the really nice amount of detail in there let's take a look at the helmet as well so here is the replacement reproduction stormtrooper helmet and that fits nicely on top of the figure I actually have a poor quality reproduction helmet here which I picked up off eBay a few years back as you can see the molding is not so good it's also a bit distorted and the plastic is pretty cheap so uh, this uh, helmet does look very nice indeed I thought it a good idea to really sort of lay these two figures side by side so you can really see the comparison of them. Uh, there is very little difference between the two figures. In fact, I think this modern figure actually has a slightly better pose because his arms are a little bit closer to his body and his legs don't look quite so splayed. Now, this is a figure I've had in my collection for a very long time. In fact, this is the same colour it was when I got it. I've not done anything to it. Uh, you can see it's sort of just a bit yellowed everywhere and some of the glue around the sort of edgings of the plastic is starting to sort of go a little bit brown uh, so when you get a figure like this which is absolutely brand new it really does look remarkably good I'm uh, very impressed with how uh, sort of neat and tidy everything is uh, sort of put together and apparently this has been sort of manufactured and made by someone who used to uh, sort of produce these original figures so they use the same sort of techniques and have made the same sort of molds and castings and used the same plastic as close as they can get and I'm guessing the way the painted has been applied uses sort of similar old-fashioned techniques and that's what makes it look so nice it gives it a really sort of nice quality to it and it feels the same sort of weight as well it's uh, really quite satisfying to feel a figure like this in, in hand because uh, it's a, made of a very nice quality and very high detailed very high spec it also comes with a standard issue sort of black blaster again this uh, looks pretty good you can see there's quite a lot of nice detailing on there and that just finishes the figure off uh, because what is Luke Skywalker without a blaster in his hand nothing there you go that's the figure with everything attached to him so as well as the Luke Skywalker in Stormtrooper disguise that we have here you can also get this Han Solo in Stormtrooper disguise and this is the figure that was never produced at the time and it's one that a lot of people have asked for over the years so you can see this uses the same Luke Skywalker body but has the Han Solo head on it again it's got the same articulation and this head is taken from the small head Han Solo the original era one so if I bring in 
there's my small head hand solo. You can see it's the same head, again with a nice bit of sort of paint detail applied to it. And the paint, I have to say, is a very good match for the original sort of colouring uh, that was on this hand solo. So they've obviously gone to quite a lot of lengths to uh, make this look as good as possible. And I do think this looks very nice indeed. So the rest of the body, as I said, uh, is the Luke Skywalker one. And again, if we turn it over, you can see there are no markings on the back of the leg. It's just a smooth finish. Uh, but really this one, it's uh, uh, because it was a figure that was never released. Uh, you can easily tell that it's uh, not a reproduction one. This is a completely custom figure and I do think it's very nice. And I'm really pleased that it's been made because I've uh, over the years I actually have made a couple of customs of these myself. Uh, I've never used the small head hand solo uh, sort of head. I've tended to use the head of uh, Han in his trench coat because uh, that has the same fixings that these uh, bodies do. So uh, this one is quite a nice way of doing it. I've never seen it with the small head Han Solo head on there. It looks pretty good. Now with the Han Solo you can also buy a carded version of him and here we have the sort of Power of the Force era carded uh, Han Solo in Stormtrooper disguise. And as you can see the card is very nice. I'm actually most impressed by how this card has been produced. It's a good thickness card. Uh, the blister has actually been heat sealed onto it. It's not just been stuck on with double sided tape. So you get a very nice finish to it. It makes it look like an original card. If we turn it over as well, you can see it has the uh, Collect All 92 backing on there, which is just a sort of reproduction of the original backing. And the great thing about this is it does come with a coin. Now, again, I've sometimes seen people make sort of custom versions of these coins, but they're not made out of metal. This coin is actually made out of metal. I can bring one in here so you can see it and I'll just flick it with my finger there so you can hear the sort of sound. So this is a double sided coin. On the front side, we have Han Solo in his Stormtrooper disguise and this is Han Solo Rebel Hero. And if we turn it over, it's got a little bit of information and it says smuggler who assisted young Skywalker on a brave mission to save Princess Leia from the evil empire. May the force be with you. So I think that's a very nice addition as well because uh, I've not really seen any of these coins done in metal before, as I say, and they're normally single sided. If people are making custom cards and sort of sticking the uh, coins on them, they tend to just make a single sided version of the coin. So to have a double sided coin that's actually metal is quite a novelty and it uh, really does add something to this uh, custom. So if I bring in an original uh, carded figure, this is a Power of the Force 2 carded B Wing pilot, we can compare how these two look together. So you can see the quality of the print on the top is very nice. It's a very good uh, sort of modern day version of these vintage cars and the way the coin has been attached as well with the sort of blister around it does look remarkably like uh, this original card on the left. Obviously my uh, original card is a little bit yellow that's why the coin looks like a sort of goldy colour should be uh, that colour but uh, you can see that's a very nice uh, sort of reproduction card then we turn it over and you can see the backs are pretty much the same with all the same details on it there. When Chris first said that he would uh, send me this card, I wasn't sure how sort of good the quality of this would be because I've got some reproductions which are pretty nice, but normally the blisters have been stuck on with sticky tape and you can generally see that it's been stuck on with sticky tape. It gives you a sort of a, a sort of strange finish around the edge of it. So the fact that this has actually been heat welded on uh, really makes it look like a proper card. And I think you would be uh, sort of very pleased to have this in your collection. In fact, I'm going to put this on display with some of my vintage figures because uh, it just looks so nice. I do love this image as well as of Han in his Stormtrooper outfit. That's one of my favourite expressions uh, of uh, Harrison Ford there as Han Solo, just looking a bit perplexed. I think it's uh, just a lovely image. Now I realise there will be some people out there who don't like reproductions and uh, will not be pleased that I've been showing these uh, sort of on video. But for me, I've got reproductions in my collection and it doesn't ever bother me. I can't afford some of the things that uh, sort of people buy outright. And I know buying some of the last 17 figures can cost a huge amount of money. So for those, these are an ideal opportunity to get a sort of very nice condition figure. And in fact, I've never actually managed to find a, an original Luke Stormtrooper in this sort of condition. I don't actually believe one will exist. So uh, you're, if you want something that's absolutely pristine, then I would recommend sort of picking these up. And I do think the carded version of Han Solo is one of the most lovely sort of uh, custom cards and custom figures I've ever seen. It's just such great quality. The coin is amazingly made and the figure is really nice and the card quality is fantastic. So uh, that is a real nice item to add to any collection. Now I'll put a link in the description to Chris's eBay account so you can uh, go and 
check out all the stuff that he has for sale. And I'll also put a link to his Facebook page so you'll be able to see more images of these figures and other figures that he is working on. Uh, so do check that out. I hope this video has been of interest to you and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Toy Ploy. Subscribe for more great videos. You can also follow Toy Ploy on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram.